What a way to kick off the Premier League campaign. A 3-1 victory. Another man of the match performance from Eric Bailly. A Zlatan Ibrahimovic 30-yard screamer. Just, just average for Zlatan, to be fair. But, um, yeah, that was terrific. I mean, admittedly, for the first half an hour or so, it was very sluggish. It was reminiscent of uh, Louis van Gaal. Even the team sheet looked as though it had been picked by Louis van Gaal. Uh, Mkhitaryan was benched. Uh, we went with, um, you know, what you wouldn't expect, Mata on the right with Marcia on the left. Lingard had picked up a knock prior to the game. We went with Fellaini and Herrera in the midfield. Ibra up front, Rooney in the number 10, and the defence was quite self-explanatory. No uh, surprises there. But we started it off, as I say, it was a little bit slow. It took us a while to actually get a shot on target, but... Um, we eventually did, and it was an error from one of Bournemouth's players. A back pass to Juan Mata. Now, at this stage, I thought he would have teed up Ibrahimovic, but the keeper saved it, it ricocheted, and he got a little bit lucky with uh, the ball getting back to him. But the first goal under the Jose Mourinho era in the Premier League, anyway, is scored by Juan Mata. Now, uh, yeah, that's quite ironic, because the papers from day one have said, oh, Juan Mata's not going to be part of his plans, but... He kept Henrik Mkhitaryan out of the lineup, so you know that's a little bit surprising. But anyway, Mata scores. Very, very happy with that. We go into half time 1 0. And then in the second half, Bournemouth, who were very good defensively, their positional sense was amazing. They had to be uh, a bit more attacking in the second half, and that left. Uh, gaps and the second half was so much more entertaining that it was end to end well I say end to end we had the more dominant chances but Bournemouth still looked a threat on the counter attack um, and yeah they, they were pushed up a bit further so gaps opened up and sure enough the second goal comes in uh, I think it's a ball from Valencia who I, I said Schneidlin might be the player who'd be most improved under Mourinho but it looks as though it's going to be Valencia fingers crossed touch wood I'm not jinxing this shit but it looks as though he's back to what he was in 2010. Like He really looks like that Antonio Valencia. Very, very impressed with him so far. But yeah, a great crossing. Martial clearly goes for the shot. Spoons it, but it ends up to Wayne Rooney, who heads it in. I don't know how he keeps doing this. He was the worst player on the pitch again, yet he scores again. I just don't get it. Um, but yeah, fair play. Rooney gets his goal. And then... You know, Slap landed had a fairly quiet game. I mean, I haven't actually said, but um, he had a fantastic back heel flick through to Rooney. And uh, Rooney, unfortunately, didn't score. It was a great save from Burridge. But um, you feel like if it had been anyone other than Rooney, it would have went in. But uh, you never know. Um, sorry, you never know. No, it, it didn't end that way, unfortunately. But Zlatan Ibrahimovic, again, had a quiet first half. But in the second half, he, he did that flick. And then... He's 30 odd yards out, he's running away from the goal, the keeper's not expecting it, and he, he just strikes it, and the ball, it doesn't even look as though it's got that much pace on it, it just glides into the bottom left, it's such a beautiful shot, but yeah, 3-0, Ibra gets his debut goal in the Premier League, his third for Manchester United, obviously one was in a friendly, one was in the Community Shield, and one's in the Premier League now, so uh, yeah, utterly delighted with that, and then we kind of, uh, well... We didn't let our heads go, but uh, Bournemouth went 3-0 down, you know, they're going to push for it. And Martial made a little bit of a mistake, which allowed uh, Bournemouth to get in a fantastic goal from the substitute. And I can't remember his name, my bad. But anyway, yeah, 3-1. And um, after that, we had a couple of chances. Zlatan broke through again, and uh, he tried to assist instead of shoot. Like, I, I was very surprised. I thought Zlatan would curl it in, but uh, he didn't. And uh, we subbed on Mkhitaryan late on, we subbed on Schneidlin, we subbed on Memphis. And uh, yeah, all in all, a great performance. Luke Shaw looked terrific in his 90 minutes that he got. Ander Herrera made a couple of good through balls that just unfortunately came to nothing. Um, Valencia was very good. Eric Bailly was my man of the match again. Absolutely terrific performance from him. Fellaini was solid, although a lot of people will not like uh, me saying this, but he was. He was very, very good. Defensively astute. Didn't make any errors, really. Uh, well, I say that, apart from in the last minute, he nearly scored an own goal. Oh, yeah, the last few minutes, David De Gea, it wouldn't be a Manchester United game if David De Gea didn't make another amazing save. And it wasn't just one. Somehow, he, he managed to run out. He kind of fumbled the ball, so Bournemouth got another chance. And then he stretches his body out, saves it, stretches his body out again, makes a double save when he's on the floor, like... What the hell, man? That that guy, I'm so happy he didn't go to Real Madrid. But yeah, this was a performance without Pogba, without Mkhitaryan starting, without Rashford, without Smalling. 
and Fellaini started and we scored three goals and we've played very well. I know this was the result we got uh, uh, when we played Bournemouth in the last game of the season. We won 3-1 and we've started this campaign off with a 3-1 win. But yeah, terrific performance. One little negative, I suppose. Martial still seems to be making a few mistakes. Like I'm not sure if it's just trying to get into the match with rhythm. He had some good... Uh, I suppose dribbles you would say a couple of good passes but he just seemed to be on a different wavelength to the other uh, rest of the team for a lot of the game so hopefully he picks himself up regains the form I think a goal's really going to help him I think uh, it's it's a bit like when Harry Kane was um, at the start of last season and it took him six seven games to get in he, he needed a goal to get his confidence up and then after that he was performing brilliantly I'm not saying Martial's going to score anywhere near as much as Harry Kane because he, he's predominantly playing in a winger but I'm just comparing that I think Martial needs a goal really just to bring back his full uh, performance level that he had last season but anyway 3-1 I've droned on quite a lot so uh, I'll end it here hopefully you have enjoyed subscribe if you haven't already like the video and yeah peace